following is paid programming. It's time to talk taxes. New friends, new opportunities, new partners. EG Tax. It's Ask the Tax Lady with Esther Gullius and EG Tax on News Radio 930 WBEN. To reach Esther now, call 803-0930. Toll free at 1-800-616-9236. And cell calls are free at star 930. And now, live from the WBEN studios, it's Esther Gullius. Hey, everybody. This is Esther Gullius, and this is our hour to talk taxes and money and tax planning and whatever's happening in your life relative to money and and uh, your taxes. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. 803-0930, 803-0930, star 930 in a cell phone. Our toll-free number is 1-800-616-9230-WBEN. And we just want to hear what you have to say. If you're getting love letters, you haven't paid your liability, you didn't file last year, you're wondering about next year, um, or whatever you would lo- want to bring up, I will tell you everybody loves to hear what you have to say because your questions are better than any programming that we have. And I'm joined in studio with Christopher Fabian. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Esther. <laughs> How are you? Last week we missed you. You were playing soccer. Uh, you were I was a soccer guy. I was I was freezing cold watching a soccer game. But yeah, well, okay, that's that's what the end of April is all about, right? Well, May but didn't start off much, a, but was it was it May last week? No, yeah. it was the end of April. It was yeah. the end of April. Yep. Yeah. And Tiffany Fabian. Hello, Esther. How are you, Tiffany? Very, very good. Well, happy Mother's Day to you, and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. It's, it's such a um, really being a mom is such an important job. Yep. Right? And we we certainly. Um, the the fruit of our labor is our children and that's what's so great and i have i have five wonderful children and 11 grandchildren so uh, i am really uh it's nice that somebody acknowledges some of the work that you do as a mom because you do it with your whole heart right and And i'm very blessed my mother who is 92 years old and lives at amberley is still with me and it's that's a, a real blessing too Yes, definitely, definitely. Yep, right. I okay. get to, yeah, I, I, I know it's wonderful that you still have your mom. There's nothing more awesome, you know. Yep, I will tell you, you know, I, I never have known anything but to have my mom around. So, and she's still going strong. I mean, this lady is scooter queen at Amberley. <laughs> I'm Mr. Golias from EG Tax, 803-0930, 803-0930, star 930 cell phone. Last week we talked about, we were going to give information about the HSA, and so I am uh, for the health savings account. And so today we're going to talk about our, our kind of topic is health savings accounts uh, and who qualifies, who doesn't, who gets the benefit of them, and... Um, all that kind of stuff. I, I so, think a good place to start was, Esther, the last time we were here on Saturday, the person wanted to know if they were retired, could they still contribute to their HSA? As long as they aren't collecting Social Security. If they're collecting their Medicare, they don't qualify. Gotcha. So it would, would have to be somebody who is under the age of normal retirement, not collecting Medicare, because if they're un, because the number one thing is you have to have a high deductible medical plan. Right, Chris. Yeah, that, that's right. That's right. You got to have a high deductible medical plan for a family couple. For a family couple, that makes sense. Not uh, for a family, it's a deductible of twenty six hundred dollars or greater, and for a single person, it's thirteen hundred dollars or greater, which right. means you have to pay the first thirteen hundred or twenty six hundred out of pocket before the insurance says now we're going to start paying. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have a high deductible medical plan, you will not qualify for the HSA. But now the health savings account, for those of you that do have a health savings account, if the employer doesn't put money in, the, you, can, you can contribute to it, and it's an adjustment on your tax return, right? That's right. That's right. It's the bottom of page one of the 1040, and you can put into up to 3350 single and 6650 if you're a family. And then if you're over, oh, age 55, 55 or, or over, older, you can put in an extra $1,000. And dollars and 7650 yep. right? Yep. Uh, now, obviously, if the employer is making up this portion of it, then it's going to be a tax-free benefit to the employee. That's right. That's right. Well, and, so, and all the money that you take out 
to use for medical is not limited by 10% of your adjusted gross income. It's just a dollar for dollar. It's tax-free money. Right, right. Yep, you're not it's money goes in tax free you can put money in through your pay to tax free and then you take it out as long as it is used for medical as tax free also right and then oh, the, that sounds also confusing and the <laughs> other thing is you can make if you're if you do have a high deductible medical plan and let's say that you find out on december the 20th that your kid kids need braces you can actually put the money in uh, before the end of the year, actually up till April the fifteenth, the bill has to be paid before and, then, and it's and it's and it's an adjustment up till the end of tax. I, I think dead, deadline. Deadline. I think the coolest thing is, let's face it, many of us, my husband and I included, we can't itemize our medical, and so this would be behoove us greatly to be able to use an HSA. You know, well, it was an interesting thing, but we found out that for our company, that if we use a high deductible medical plan. The cost of our insurance goes up two hundred dollars a month. Month, wow! So, in our case, it didn't, we're out and in the so cold. we're covering everything for our employees. Right. So it really, so if you're somebody that doesn't have a high deductible medical plan, and you think that you'd like to do this, and your employer really has to go to the insurance provider and find out how much a high deductible medical plan would save them, so that they would then put that money into your HSA plan. Yeah. Did um, Tim Elias and our healthcare navigator ever get back to you about if the New York State Gov Marketplace for Health Insurance was a better answer? Nope. 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 I asked him, but nope. Yeah, nope. He said he was going to look and, into and it. And there and there is a there is a website uh, availability through the New York State of Health for business uh, for businesses. Right. So you can use a navigator, but I think our navigator was too busy to navigate. He's me. navigating other people's <laughs> well, health stuff. He will. Um, you know, and the and the nice thing about an HSA is that it it you don't lose it if you don't use it mm -hmm. by the end of the year. Cool. It, That's it exactly right. Keeps... And if you don't use it, ultimately you can roll it over into your IRA. That's right. That's right. Once you're 65, it's it's just like an IRA. And so. then there's another feature of the HSA that you can do a once in a lifetime rollover from your IRA to your HSA. So let's say you find out your kid needs $5,000 in braces and you don't have the money to put into your HSA, but you do have $5,000 in your IRA, you can do a once in a lifetime rollover from your IRA to your HSA, which then would be used for medical expenses, which is a very cool thing too. Right, That's right, so and cool. you know, and let's let's you know, what about someone who actually puts in the maximum to their four hundred one k, you know, and so with their incomes, they can't put any more money in any other retirement plans. Mm -hmm. They can, if they have the high deductible. They can contribute right to the HSA and not touch it, and then that's almost that. There's your, there's their extra retirement income grow later on in life. That's too. tax planning at its beauty at that's at right. the heart. Exactly. That's great. And so, I guess what um, I guess what I wanted to stress this week is if you're somebody that is confused about what a health savings uh, account might high deductible health savings account HSA would do for you. That's part of what we would do at EG Tax, and we're very happy to help you. And and uh, as we alluded to, uh, Tim Eliason is our navigator. I think he's too busy to navigate for Auntie Esther, but uh, <laughs> he might navigate for you. But part of what we do is there's a uh, completely we don't charge for the service. We want to make sure that you are getting the biggest bang for your buck on your taxes and your health uh, plan, what your health insurance. And so uh, that's just a free service that EG Tax offers. And right. How did they get a hold of Tim, by the way? Uh, they just dial 632-7886, and his extension is 1101. Or just hit or, zero. He makes appointments yep. on Mondays and Thursdays. He's in the office from 9 a.m. till about 8 p.m. on Mondays through Thursdays, Mondays and Thursdays. Okay, we have uh, Frank and John and Lorraine on the on the phone. We're going to talk to them on the other side of the break. 8030930, 8030930, star 930 to cell phone. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with your calls. Did you receive a letter from the IRS or New York State taking money out of your pension to pay debts, thinking of retiring, got married, had children? Who can you turn to to make all the right decisions for taxes so that you don't end up in a financial mess come next tax season? EG Tax is here to guide you and be in your corner all year long. 
Call 632-7886 today. Again, 632-7886. And come join our family, 632-7886. When faced with the uncertainty of an aging parent and what to do with their finances, you may have dozens of questions. Things like preparing for long-term care and the cost involved, or having the family home gifted to the children are among them. Jeffrey Katz, an elder care law attorney, will help you navigate all of the potential problems and solutions. Jeffrey Katz has been a longtime associate of EG Tax, and they are proud to recommend him to their listeners. Call Jeffrey Katz at 633-3363. That's 633-3363. Jeff will help you plan. Attention real estate investors. Thinking of selling investment property? Pay no tax. Call RJ Gullo 1031 Exchange Company. National Qualified Intermediaries for 1031 Exchanges. For a free consultation on how to pay no tax when selling investment property, call 675-1500 or online at rjgullo.com. That's 675-1500 or online at rjgullo.com. Hi, this is Esther, and let me tell you how great it is to have an insurance agent like Nationwide's Bill Barber. Bill's 40-plus years' experience has saved me money on my premiums and potential claims. Have an insurance question, problem, or crisis? Bill will work with you personally without calling an overseas customer service number. All I can say is whenever I need someone on my side, I'm glad to have Nationwide's Bill Barber. For all your insurance needs, call the Bill Barber Agency at 688-2199. Call 688-2199 to day nationwide is on your side the heating season is here wentz propane and oil wants you to stay warm call today to schedule your delivery and get 100 off your next delivery if you refer a friend call jack today at 731-9826 or 731-3015 mention eg tax for a special discount Call today, 731-9826. That's 731-9826 for Wentz Propane and Oil. This is Attorney Dennis Kitchen. How is your credit score? If you can't keep up with monthly payments, that can hurt your credit score. This might be a good time to talk to an attorney about getting a fresh start. I've been helping people with their debts for 40 years, and I never charge for an initial consultation regarding debt problems. I'm Dennis Kitchen, and I'd like to help. For a free consultation regarding debts, call attorney Dennis Kitchen at 716-631-5661. says, but hey, I'm the tax lady, and we are here to talk about your tax situation. Today we were concentrating on HSAs, but whatever the tax mood is out there, we'd love you to join us here in studio, 8030930, 8030930, star 930 on a cell phone. I got Tiff and, uh, Tiffany Fabian and Christopher Fabian with me, and we're going to go to the phones. We're going to talk to Frank from Buffalo. Hi, Frank. How can we help you? Yes, I got a fast question. Could I ask you? Ah, uh, you certainly um, can. I filed my taxes. I got my return. Okay. I have uh, one. Well, I have two boys. I have one which is my biological son, and I have one boy that I adopted. Okay. And my adopted boy, um, he was in the service. He come home. He got his money from the government to go to Buff State, is where he was going. The money ran out, so I've been paying for his school out of my own pocket. Mm-hmm. And um, in 2013, he had lost his job, and he wasn't working, so my wife and I just made him go to school full-time, and we picked mm-hmm. up everything. And that I was told by my tax advisor that I could write him off. How old is he? Was I he could, in 13? Uh, 20, uh, I just turned 27. All right, so, and he had no income at all? He had no income for 2013. 2014, okay. he ended up working. And 2015, he was working in it, and he's still working now. So okay, it was so just the one year, and I was told that I, he, I, can, I can apply for an amended. That's correct. In 2013, if he had no income and he was no. living with you and you were giving over 50% of his support, even though yeah. he's over the age of uh, 23, you still can claim it. And then don't forget to take the college credit. I'm sure Esther was getting yeah, to I'm that. I'm sure that's, that's what he was thinking about. But, but yes, go ahead and amend that return and you should uh, you should uh, send it certified mail because it's a paper return. Return receipt yep. requested to make sure that they've gotten it. 
Okay. And is there anything that I would tell this tax advisor? I still haven't picked it up yet. I don't know what he's doing. He just talked to me the other day, and he told me he said he was going to file an amended return. Do I tell him anything? Well, sir, first of all, all amended returns are paper returns that are, are that old, 2013. So okay. that you have to sign it, mail it in, and send it certified mail. And okay. it's probably going to take. What do you think, Chris? And about a half, about six months. Yeah, to get and then right? I, yeah, I think four to six, yeah. <clears throat> I think four to six months, like Chris said. And don't forget, Frank, you're also going to do an amendment on the state too. Right. Oh, so I get federal. And because state he, well, let me ask you this: Does he already have an undergraduate degree? No, ma'am. Um, he still has another seven months to go. All right. So he was working on his undergraduate degree, right? Yes. First one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yeah, so you, like Tiffany says, you're also going to get a credit on New York State. So you're going to file an amended federal and a New York State return. Not to mention he's going to add him as a dependent. Right, right, yes. because you're going to get the credit for education on New York State and the dependent on your, on your return. So, yeah, so you're going to do both federal and state. Federal state. Well, thank you very much. You're for very your help. welcome. Thanks for calling. God bless. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. God bless. That's, that's one of the wonderful things to for us, isn't it? That oh. we get to help people. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I, I took care of a man the other day, <clears throat> and he had always been doing his own return and his son's return. His son is about fifty years old, and his son um, works for the city, and he puts money into an IRA, and it brings his income below twenty eight thousand, so he qualifies for the retirement savers credit. But he had not been doing it, so I get to amend the last few years and and add that retirement savers credit. And so it's just a wonderful feeling when it you really, get to help people. It really people. is. I'll tell you. It's, you get paid for helping people. It's yeah. a wonderful thing. Okay, let's go back to the phones, and we're going to talk to John from Dayton. How can we help you, John? Hi. Um, I just had a question regarding your philosophy on when you should bring in a third party as far as dealing with the IRS and or the state. Um, I definitely have a, a large liability that I've accrued uh, both with the IRS and the state over the last few years. Well, I, I will tell you, and, and uh, Chris, you do most of our audits. Wouldn't you agree that most of the time you should be there uh, with, with a, an individual oh. who understands tax law because, you know, they can ask you the most benign question, but you don't know the ramifications of what they asked you, and if they ask it in the wrong way or you answer it in the wrong way, you've just shot yourself in the foot. So wouldn't you agree that having uh, somebody there to explain your tax return is something that definitely. most people should look at? Well, definitely, definitely. Whenever the IRS is involved, even New York State for an audit, have somebody there who knows, who knows how to back it up, who knows different things, because sometimes... The IRS, believe it or not, the auditor doesn't know tax law. And, and then, you... yeah, and then another thing, sorry, Chris, is, is I want to say he has a lot of liability, and Chris also does does a lot of our offers and compromises. And so I was thinking it might be a potential for him too, Chris. Yep. Yeah, but that's the important thing is John. And now, now it says you're from South Dayton, South Dayton, Ohio. Uh, no, in uh, Western New York. Okay, so we do not charge to help you in an audit situation. So the price is right, and you know our, our hope is that at the end of the audit situation, you say, wow, this was great, and you become a client of ours. And the more people that we positively affect, the better our business is. And thank God we've been growing for 26 years in Western New York. So if you need help, bring in your stuff. We will help you, and that's our whole claim to fame. I will tell you, if we don't think you have a leg to stand on. We tell you right up front. And, you know, I mean, we, we aren't going to, we're, we're not going to pursue something that's unpursuable. John, are they auditing you or is it just taxes that you owe? Can I ask? It's a, it's a good point. Let, let's assume it's a liability. It's been, it, I'm not disputing necessarily the amount. All right. Uh, do you, have, do you have the money to pay it, John? No, I actually lost my job recently, so thank you. Okay, so you, you're an offer and compromise. So you're okay. an offer and compromise candidate. An so an offer and compromise is where you basically go to the IRS and say, this person is uncollectible, the odds of collecting are very low, we look at the last three months of your expenses uh, and, and present something to the IRS which says that he can afford to pay this 
and instead of what he owes. And um, that's another thing that we have an attorney that works with us that will help you with. So again, if you call EG Tax, we'll be very happy to help you. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, let's assume that I owe all that money, and then until I get I have a, a new job, though, doesn't it make my chances of, of, of dealing with them less? Or should I no. wait until I have no, a new they, job? No, or? they they look at your income potential for the next five okay. years. So, okay. Okay. so if they say, oh, you're an executive, so you're going to get a job that's going to pay $300,000, they're probably not going to do an offer. You know, so they, they look now and they look in the future to see your right. potential. Right. But, the IRS but, and or the state. Yes. Correct. Right. Right. Okay. So give us a call, 632-7886, or you can go to our website at egtax.com, and you can uh, go to a ask a tax question, give, fill in all the information, and we'll make sure we get back to you, or you can contact us directly. But that's part of what we do this time of year. So we want to get Great. you out of the muck and mire. Yep. Okay? Great. Thank you, guys. I Thanks, really appreciate John. it. Thank you, John. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady from EG mm -hmm. Tax, 8030930, 8030930, star 930 in the cell phone, and we Wait, have... wait, wait. One yes. other thing, you yes, know, for, for John. You know, if it was just off his tax return, maybe the, he got a 10, he put a 1099 miscellaneous for self-employment and didn't take expenses. Maybe there was a letter for a sale of stock and they, he said, okay, yep, I sold that stock. I owe him the money. But maybe he doesn't really owe them the money. Well, because it's interesting that's, cause, <clears throat> cause one of the grounds for an offer and compromise is that you are unable to pay. One of the other grounds is doubt as to liability. liability. So the truth is, when you go to do the offer and compromise, you say to the IRS, you billed this guy $40,000. He doesn't owe it, yeah. right? Yep. So that's the beautiful part about having a professional look at that tax return. We may look at it and find out that the money that they say he owes, he doesn't owe at all. Correct. So, so. great, great, great point. Okay, let's see. I'm, let's see. We're going to go to Lorraine, right? Yep. Lorraine? Hey, Lorraine, Hi. this is Esther. How can I help you? Uh, I saw you on the 13th of April with my husband, and you did our taxes. Good. Shortly after that, my husband uh, started getting uh, phone calls from someone saying that uh, they were from the IRS, and uh, we were supposed to call the IRS uh, immediately because we were going to lose everything that we had. And so and, what happened uh, then, Lorraine? But you know that that's just a scam, right? I figured, yes. <laughs> and they did not give us, they didn't ask us any questions. They didn't give us um, a phone number uh, to call. Uh, but I uh, recorded the phone number that showed up on our phone. Uh, and I thought you might like it for your own knowledge and um well, I will tell you, we, of... we uh, many, many times, we, we actually had uh, one of the TV stations come in and they, they filmed an entire segment of somebody calling one of these scammers. And then at the end of it, we said, and by the way, you're being filmed by, in, by ABC and da, 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 and the guy went ballistic. So uh, we, we know the phone numbers and we know everything that they're doing, but we're really glad that you were not so gullible. Yeah. But many people are, and for those people listening, if you're getting one of those wonderful phone calls from the IRS, it's threatening your, you got to have the money now, you got to, you just, I have to be as smart as Lorraine and hang up. Yeah, and I don't, don't think entertain them. that us having the number would be so good because they call from so many different That's numbers. That's exactly true. All right, we're going to take a short break for the news. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady, 8030930, 8030930, star 9030 on a cell phone. We'll see you on the other side of the news. Newsroom, here's what's happening. An armed robbery of a Niagara County hospital for drugs prompts an hours-long shelter in place in Lockport. A person of interest is in custody at City of Lockport Police Headquarters, but not arrested or charged in the incident before 5 this morning at the Eastern Niagara Hospital. Police Chief Michael Neath explained what happened. At 4.57 a.m. today, uh, Lockport Police received a call from Eastern Niagara Hospital Lockport. That's located at 521 East Avenue in the City of Lockport that they had a, a male that walked into their emergency room 
He was armed with a rifle and he was demanding their drugs. The hospital says workers did provide him with a limited quantity of drugs. The suspect was armed with a rifle in each hand and what looked like a bomb. Those have all been recovered. No injuries were reported. Neath said an officer fired twice at the suspect, but he was not struck. Residents were allowed to leave their homes after a nearly five-hour-long shelter-in-place. I'm Sloan Martin, News Radio 930, WBEN. One great station, one great dial position, no confusion. News Radio 930 AM, WBEN. Now that April 18th is gone, you may be thinking that tax season is over. But at EG Tax, we think it is never over. And now it's money season. Our belief is to keep money in your pocket where it belongs. Call us today for reviewing, tax planning, or even still to prepare your return. Call 632-7886 today. Again, 632-7886. And come join our family, 632-7886. Attention real estate investors. Like owning multifamily investment property, but not interested in the day-to-day headaches of management? Call RJ Gullo Investment Company to learn about multifamily co-ownership investing. For more information, call 675-1500 or online at rjgullo.com. This is not an offer to sell, nor a solicitation of an offer to buy any security. Such offers can be made only by a private placement memorandum. In the nation, they go by guardian, lifesaver and friend at nationwide insurance we just call them agents we put members first because we don't have shareholders join the nation that cares nationwide is on your side i have an insurance agent who cares that's why bill barber has been my agent for 15 years for any insurance needs call bill 688-2199 nationwide mutual insurance company and affiliates columbus ohio subject to underwriting guidelines review and approval Taxes can be a puzzle sometime, but Esther Goulias makes it understandable. This is Attorney Dennis Kitchen. I've been a lawyer for over 35 years, and I consider it my duty to make the law understandable to my clients. Whether it's bankruptcy, estates, wills, litigation, family law, or real estate, my experience and training can guide you through the puzzling parts of the law and help you understand. I'm Dennis Kitchen, and I'd like to help. Find Attorney Dennis Kitchen at kitchenlaw.com or call 631-5661. When faced with the uncertainty of an aging parent and what to do with their finances, you may have dozens of questions. Things like preparing for long-term care and the cost involved, or having the family home gifted to the children are among them. Jeffrey Katz, an elder care law attorney, will help you navigate all of the potential problems and solutions. Jeffrey Katz has been a longtime associate of EG Tax, and they are proud to recommend him to their listeners. Call Jeffrey Katz at 633-3363. That's 633-3363. Jeff will help you plan. I like that kind of music. Joe. That Joe is a good picker of music. And I'm Esther Goyas, the tax lady from EG Tax. And we want to help you with your, with your whatever your problems are this time of year. We mostly do taxes. But, you know, taxes kind of spill over. It's like washing a floor and your bucket goes. And the water comes out of your bucket. It goes like a little, little bit of everything. Because we have to know, we have to know about all phases of money and if you're before you go ahead and make something some uh, purchase and you're not sure about your, the tax ramifications you know don't listen to your neighbor over the the backyard fence give us a call eg tax wants to help you and there's no charge for us to help you right that's right we love helping we do it for free we do we do we do you know i gotta tell you the other day i was on vacation right and i was getting my nails done far, far, far outside of Buffalo. I was like in Florida, okay? And the lady next to me in the right, the right nail place, she was mentioning that she was from the Northeast. I said, really, where where are you from? She says, she's from Vermont. Oh, she's from Vermont. Oh, great. Where are you from? I said, I'm from Buffalo. She says, I was born in Buffalo. Hmm. Really? So bottom line is, you know, and just thinking about Jeff Katz, she she said that her attorney was Jeffrey Katz. (laughs) I mean, it, it was, I said, oh, my gosh, what a small world. That's funny. Uh, you know, That's... and I said, you've got to be kidding. He's a wonderful friend of ours. 
So, uh, and he's a great attorney, you know. And again, he's a great elder law attorney. Uh, okay, I'm Esther Gullius, a tax lady from EG Tax. We've had these people waiting for so long. Okay, Gene from Clarence, how can we help you? Uh, yes, um, I have a foster child uh, since 24, May 2014. And at the time I filed my 2014 uh, tax, I didn't have her social security number. Right. So I applied for an ACIN number, and I just received it this um, March. Okay. And I filed the 2015 with the number. It was no problem. And I, I, I been to 2014, uh, both federal and state. I just got a, an audit from New York State yep. saying that I, I think I was supposed to get something around two, two or three hundred dollars back from mm -hmm. the state. They're telling me now that I owe them two. Or three but that's $200. that's what they do. The state of New York, actually, the federal government does the same thing. When they disagree with or they want more information on any area of your tax return, they don't send you a letter that says, uh, Dear Jean, uh, please help us to understand why you're claiming this child on your tax return. They just disallow it, send a bill, and it's up to you to prove that what you put on your tax return is correct. So what you need to do is get all the documentation that says that th this is a legally placed foster child. You are the foster parent that you have a, 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 a taxpayer ID number for the child and uh, send it back certified mail to the state of New York so that you can prove that this is your child and that bill will go away. Is there anything I need to add? It, 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 it may have been, too, that the IT2, if it was the child tax credit, the IT213 wasn't with the amended return. So the New York State likes all. No, I thought he said it was for this year. Didn't they give you a hard no, time for this they, year? No, this 14. Was for 2014. 2014, yeah. I amended. Yeah, 2015 but, was no problem. I, okay. I submitted the ACAN number in 2015, and I got my tax return. Already. Now, this is what I'd suggest. If you want to bring that bill into the office, there's no charge. We'll line everything up for you so you know what to do, and we can read that. Because many times when you get these bills, it's it's under, it's under tax lingo. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so this way we can say, oh, this is what they're looking for, and then we'll help you to put all your documentation together and send it back. If you, if anybody else has been out there that's listening that has had something that was disallowed by the state or the federal, the last thing you should do is fold your chips, so to speak. You, what you want to do is pursue it because that's what they're expecting you to do is to just give and, up and then pay them. And they, you should not pay them. Jean, I was wondering how old is the child? How old were they in 14? She, uh, she was only... Uh... Uh, one year old. Because between the age of four and seventeen, there's an Empire State child tax credit on the on the New York return. So, if she was only one in fourteen, how she wouldn't. Was, how old was your other child? Well, I, I have um, I have seven other children, and oh. um, I uh, good for you. I, yes, thank you. Um, the uh, I, I thought that was taken into account. I used one of the programs, so it really. I assume that it's filed it correctly with regards to birthdays. Yeah, no, I have a feeling it's they're they were missing some forms because the just adding a dependent would only be like about a sixty dollar net change on New York State. <laughs> so if it's two hundred or three hundred, they're saying they're owing you. It almost seems like there were some forms missing on the amended return. So definitely come in. We can get it done. Get it faxed no right charge. over. Very yep. happy to help you. Well, why would they be billing me when I'm asking them for more money? I mean, if, if, if they were just going to disallow it, then they wouldn't owe me anything. It's so funny. The other day I was with somebody, and New York State was billing them, but they were disallowing the traditional IRA contribution. And so when I, New York State does this, they start taking away everything. And other, like Esther like right. Esther had said, you just have to provide proof, and then it'll go away. And so it's right, best yeah. to have us take yeah. a look at it. I think if I, I don't have to pay it for it in front of you, but I think they had said that another one of my children didn't qualify, and that's <laughs> why I owed them money. But I'm pretty sure they all did. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Look, the whole uh, thing okay. is, if you come in on Monday, we'll we'll be very happy to help you. There's no charge, and this way you have kind of somebody in your corner, putting it in back into tax lingo for the state to understand. Okay. 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 Great. Thanks very much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Thanks. sir. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady from EG Tax. Eight zero three zero nine three zero eight zero three zero nine three zero star nine thirty on a cell phone, and. Um, we are going back to the phones and talk to Bob from Clarence. Robert, Robert from Clarence. Hey, Rob, how can we help you? Hi, Esther. Uh, listen, uh, I'm trying to obviate some tax liability 
uh, for Social Security, took it at 65, but still working. And I'm wondering, that um, can that Social Security be deposited in some kind of IRA or other, other manner to deflect that tax? Right, so you guys help. Uh, well, you, so you can't deposit the Social Security into an IRA, but you can use an IRA to your benefit. Would would you guys it, explain that? It, it, you yeah. can possibly. Um, do you have a pension plan at work? No. Okay, then. What kind of job uh, did you did you retire and then start like a, a part time oh, no, job? Still working, still working, an administrative job. All right. May I ask approximately your income? Uh, mid thirties. Okay, mid thirties. All right. So wife working. No. Single? No, you're single. Okay, so he could use an IRA to, to his best advantage for both of them. He could shelter $13,000 a year. He's single. He said he was single. Oh, he said single. I'm oh, sorry. I thought he said married. You're getting married. All right, married. so 6500 is what he can put into an IRA, so that will mitigate part of his Social Security and reduce the taxability on part of it. But the truth is, if he's got 30000 in wages... How much Social Security are you getting, Rob? About twelve. Twelve thousand a year, thousand dollars a month, right? Yes. So about six, about twelve hundred a month. Twelve hundred a month. So that would help to make his Social Security much less taxable, right? Definitely, definitely, because if then you take his wages, less half of his Social Security, social security but then 36. you back off this, but you back right, out so the six. Now we're down to thirty. So then twenty-five from thirty is he's over by five. So only twenty-five hundred dollars of Social Security is going to be taxable. Yep. Yep. So that would be a great plan for you, Robert. I, good, I, I didn't quite get the, the get last what part. the plan so was. So I could put it in an IRA, or how should I do this? Yep, you yeah. should open up a. If you don't already, open up a traditional IRA. Well, I have an IRA right now. Can I just deposit into that one? Yep, yeah. and earmark it for sixteen. Right. Okay, so if I if I have my Social Security deposited to my present IRA, no, 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 no. no. You, your you, Social Security comes to you, and okay. you can contribute sixty five hundred to your IRA. So a separate check goes into your IRA as a contribution from you from you to your IRA. The Social Security is going to be on one side of the column, and the deduction for your uh, IRA is going to be on another side of the column. When the whole thing meets out, when the whole thing figures out, that 6500 is going to reduce your Social Security by the $6,500. So that's a good thing. I, and maybe you'd qualify for the Retirement Savers that's Credit. That's true. Right. Right. I understand. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank Thanks. you, sir. I'm Master Golius, the tax lady from EG Tax, 8030930. 8030930 star 930 in a cell phone that and that's uh he's got a great example of somebody that really is going to be able to use the social security uh the the taxability of social security and be be reduced by that IRA contribution mm -hmm. and he might qualify for an HSA Right. That's right. It, it, no, is, he's 65. It, he's got Medicare. He at, that's right. He's that, not at full retirement well, age. Yet, well, that's he? the thing if if you don't if if even though you're 65, but if Medicare is not your your lead insurance, you can still do an HSA if you if, if he has a high deductible if he has a high plan. deductible plan. Right. Yes, right. Okay, I'm Esther Golius, the tax lady from EG Tax. We're going to take a short break. On the other side, we have Rose and Cindy, and your calls 8030930. 8030930, star 930 in a cell phone. We want to help you. Give us a jingle. Thanks. Did you receive a letter from the IRS or New York State taking money out of your pension to pay debts, thinking of retiring, got married, had children? Who can you turn to to make all the right decisions for taxes so that you don't end up in a financial mess come next tax season? EG Tax is here to guide you and be in your corner all year long. Call 632-7886 today. Again, 632-7886 and come join our family, 632-7886. When faced with the uncertainty of an aging parent and what to do with their finances, you may have dozens of questions. Things like preparing for long-term care and the cost involved, or having the family home gifted to the children are among them. Jeffrey Katz, an elder care law attorney, will help you navigate all of the potential problems and solutions. Jeffrey Katz has been a longtime associate of EG Tax, and they are proud to recommend him to their listeners. Call Jeffrey Katz at 633-3363. That's 633-3363. Jeff will help you plan. 
Hi, this is Esther, and let me tell you how great it is to have an insurance agent like Nationwide's Bill Barber. Bill's 40-plus years experience has saved me money on my premiums and potential claims. Have an insurance question, problem, or crisis? Bill will work with you personally without calling an overseas customer service number. All I can say is whenever I need someone on my side, I'm glad to have Nationwide's Bill Barber. For all your insurance needs, call the Bill Barber Agency at 688-2199. Call 688-2199 to Day. Nationwide is on your side. Attention real estate investors. Looking for a management-free real estate investment providing guaranteed monthly cash flow? Call RJ Gullo Net Realty, America's source for net leased investment properties. For more information, call 675-1500 or online at rjgullo.com. That's 675-1500 or go online at rjgullo.com. This is Attorney Dennis Kitchen. How is your credit score? If you can't keep up with monthly payments, that can hurt your credit score. This might be a good time to talk to an attorney about getting a fresh start. I've been helping people with their debts for 40 years, and I never charge for an initial consultation regarding debt problems. I'm Dennis Kitchen, and I'd like to help. For a free consultation regarding debts, call Attorney Dennis Kitchen at 716-631-5661. Jimmy Buffett. I love the Buffett kind of thing. We're looking at summer here coming to western New York, and that makes us so excited. It was interesting. One of my good friends and clients said to me, she had moved in from, like, Ohio or something, and she said, I don't know, western New York people are crazy. It's like summer is like a holy event. And I said, wait till you live here for four or five years in the winter. You'll understand why summer is so important to western New York New Yorkers. So I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady That's in right. studio with Christopher Fabian, <laughs> Tiffany Fabian. We're talking taxes. We're talking HSAs, uh, health savings accounts, high deductible medical uh, 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 plans. And if you have a high deductible medical plan, the HSA is something you want to look look at as as well. And if you have any questions on that, we'd love to hear what you have to say. And, uh, in the meantime, we have Rosemary calling. And Rosemary, how can we help you? Well, good afternoon. I have a quick fix for (laughs) the phone calls that come in that you don't want. That would be good. You say hello, and then if they ask you a question or they tell you to do something like like you have a problem on your computer or this is so-and-so calling, you just say, answer them in a different language. (laughs) Just, Just say something in another language. I trust like, no, no sabe, no, like no sabe solo. I know, I was thinking. And that's no, it? No, no. Van Kahneman Heimkennen. Someone had called me regarding my computer that is apparently not working, and I, I answered, I just said, hello, and then they told me my computer wasn't working and I should go to my computer and all that, and I said, in Polish, I said, jak się masz, which is, <laughs> how are you? And then they said to me, Russian? I said, no. <laughs> And they and I said, uh, "Shy," and and I mean it was it, it didn't make any difference what language you use, just use a foreign language. The person called me back at the exact time the next day. I answered exactly the same way. They have never called me back. But, yeah, they probably marked it as she doesn't speak English. That's a That's good right. idea. That's a good well, idea. There's a super way to get rid of all these. Phones. All right, thank you, Rose. I like You're it. Welcome. Love when Goodbye. other people have good suggestions. That's a good thank one. Thank you, Rose. Uh, uh, thanks for calling. I'm Esther Golias, the tax lady from EG. Yakshamash. It's interesting because um, the other day I had one of those kind of phone callers that called me, but I got him so upset that he shouted obscenities. You know, <laughs> so. But that was kind of cool because then they break their concentration because they, you know, because he, he called and said, you have a problem with your computer. And I said, which one? And he said, mm. um, the well, one that computer. contacted us. He said, the computer. And I said, well, I have 150. Could you kind of pinpoint it for me? 
And uh, so it went from bad to worse well, for him. The, the, the person at uh, who at our office when the Channel 7 or Channel 2, I'm sorry, we forget which one, Channel four, 7 it was. came to the office, she started confronting the person who was pretending like they were the IRS, and then they started getting uh, doing obscenities like Obs- right. obs- they, they sexual, yeah, sexual harassment. Yeah, harassment. Yeah. It was really scary. Well, I like keeping them on the phone because I figure if I can keep them on the phone, it's less people for that's them to call true. who oh, could possibly true. fall for it. That so. is absolutely true okay let's go back to the phones and we have cindy from hamburg calling hi cindy how can we help you hi um i'm divorced and my ex and i share uh we take my daughter on our taxes every other year we sure go back and forth sure. um and she started college and uh well to make a long story short once i turn 59 and a half which i just did i can take money out of my tax credit annuity without penalty from them but i'm wondering what the irs will do because what I want to do is I want to put it toward her tuition. And will IRS, like, take half of it or something? No, 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 no. So let's let's ask some personal questions. Approximately how much income do you make in wages every year? Uh, about 72. 72,000? Yeah. And, and so any she alimony? Gets no, Are she you gets no any, any, any alimony? No. So your primary source of income is your wages? Yes. And you have no self-employment, no investments, nothing like that, right? Just the tax for annuity. That's it. Okay. So, which you're going to take out. How much do you think you're going to take out of your your tax sheltered annuity? Um, probably six thousand a year. All right. So so that'll bring you up to seventy-eight thousand. All right. So. Pardon? Yeah. So that'll bring you up to seventy-eight thousand. So, and you're the head of the household because your daughter lives in your home, correct? Right. All right, so you're, you'll be in about the 25% bracket. So that means on your six, you're going to pay about uh, $2,500 in taxes on the federal, and you won't owe anything on New York State. So that's it. Plus you're going to get, on, in the year that you're claiming your daughter, you're going to get the, uh, the uh, American Opportunity Tax Credit. It, that's so, what she's got to be careful of is her right, income limit. That's right. Right. That's what I'm trying to Google real fast on my phone, but my fat fingers aren't not typing very And then good. with an annuity, it's always the growth, right, Chris? That Okay, but the American Opportunity Tax Credit phases out on uh, head of the household Pretty from uh, 80, 80 to 90, so, so she'll she's be fine. Okay. She's, she's right around she's there. Fine. She's going to start, could possibly start losing it depending right. on how much her wages are. She, mm-hmm. you know, so... So so you'll be okay. So between 80 and 90, you start losing the American Opportunity Tax Credit. But you, your the credit, now your, your daughter just started college? Uh, last year. She, okay. She so this will be the year, year that you're going to claim her? No, that was the year my ex claimed her. Okay, so, so this year is the year you're going to claim her. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. that will mean a, a, a credit to you on the federal of about $2,500 and on the state of New York another $400. So it's a big, big deal. Yeah. I guess so, but then they're going to take um, out of you said out of the six would be about twelve hundred, so about twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred, so it right. would be about. But seven. remember, you're going to get twenty five hundred back because of the credit, right. so it's so it's it zero. will it even out, out pretty much, right? And then, okay. of course, there's a credit on New York State for your daughter too, right. the, the education credit. Right. So uh, okay, and, and right. that the annuity will be tax free on the state up to twenty thousand dollars. And you said you're taking out six, so it's all tax free right. on the state. Right. So it's only an event on the federal. On the federal. But of course, okay. the American Opportunity Tax Credit is going to cover that for you. Okay, I'll see you okay. next tax season. Not um, too bad. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, dear. Thanks, Rose. Bye-bye. Congratu- Happy Goulias. Mother's Day, Rose. That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm Esther Golias, the tax lady from EG Tax, 8030930, 8030930, star 930 on your cell phone. And we have Ida from Chictawaga uh, on line three. How can we help you? Hello. Hi, Ida. Esther? Yes, ma'am. It's hard to hear you, Esther. I'm sorry. sorry. But I'm going to ask you a question. What would be the living cost the the IRA or I, uh, I, IRS is allowing before you could uh, make out taxes. Okay, why don't you guys give her the standard deduction I, personal I still exemption? I hard to how, hear you. Yep, how yep. old are you, Ida? Pardon me? How old are you? Oh, I'm 89. Oh, how sweet. Okay. And you're not, are you legally blind by any chance? Well, no, I'm, I'm okay. just hard of hearing, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hard of hearing and... And not legally blind. Okay. And are you single, Ida? Very close. 
Ida, are you single? Yes, I am. All right. Unlucky. All right. Oh, uh-huh. were you never married? Yes, I was, but my husband passed away. Oh. Uh, all right. So you you can earn eleven thousand eight hundred and five and fifty dollars before you have to file a tax return. That doesn't include your social security. It does not include the social, huh? That's correct. And, and so eleven thousand eight fifty. And then Ida, I was wondering, do you pay rent or do you own a house? I own a home. And is your house worth more or less than eighty five thousand? Oh, maybe just about. Okay, because there's also a property credit if you're under 18000 for the year that you might qualify for on the state of New how York. How much are you getting in Social Security, Ida? Uh, uh, how much? I'm, I'm getting uh, 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 1, 000, In a year, I'm getting 15900 uh, In Social uh, Security. Uh, and do you have a pension? $29 per month. And are you got a, do you have a pension too, Ida? Uh, do I have a pension? Yeah. No, I, I don't have my... My husband left the IRA. Okay. What's your are, are you taking money out of that? Uh, well, I have to. How much do you take out of that oh, every year? Oh, gosh, I don't know exactly how much, but maybe it's about, I don't know, maybe about 15000 Okay, so what, what Tiffany was trying to see is if Ida had income that was less than $18,000. And if that was the case, and her house was worth less than $85,000, then, quali- then she would qualify for the IT-214. But it sounds like Ida has too much income. Right. Yeah, she's and if not her- going to owe any income taxes, but she won't qualify for the IT-214. Right, but if her pen- if her minimum distribution is 15000 she would automatically have to file a tax return anyways. That's true, That's so. true too. That's true. So what what was the last... Uh, 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 instruction that you had mentioned well you know what i what i'd suggest ida why don't you call the office and talk to us when we're not on the air and this way we can kind of increase our volume okay sweetie so call us monday okay okay ida and what number ida do you you call us at six three two six three two seven eight eight six Seven eight eighty six. Correct. Right. Seven, Ida, eight, you have children? Pardon me? Do you have children? Yes. One is out of town, and uh, the other one is as, as social herself. Oh, uh, well, look one, at Happy Mother's Day. They're older children now. At I age. know. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, and same to you. Thank you, Thanks, dear. Ida. Thank you God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, sweetie. She's so Bye-bye. cute. Bye-bye. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, when it when when your body starts working against you, what can you do, right? <laughs> well, it sounds like her mind is pretty that's in true, tuned, but, right? Absolutely. In that, yeah. you know, we we would have had to say, I know, you know. <laughs> so she's a sweetie pie. I'm Esther Gullis, the tax lady from EG Tax. Another thing we wanted to talk about before the end of the show today is a another uh, kind of a trick that you might be able to utilize, especially if you're self-employed or if you're a key employee at an employer, and it's called the non-qualified pension plan. And so many times we talk about the qualified pension plans like the 401K, the 403Bs, where they're they're regulated by the federal government. But in a non-qualified pension plan, there is no limit to the amount that your employer can contribute to your pension plan, and it all grows tax deferred until you take it out. And at that point in time that you take it out, then it's taxable. Many times it's referred to as uh, kind of a pension with golden handcuffs because they're putting all this money aside from you, and unless you live up to the terms of the contract, when you retire, you don't get the money. So if you're somebody that wants to know about a non-qualified pension plan, EG Tax is very happy to help you with that as well, and you can talk to your employer, or if you're self-employed and you have a company, you can set up your own uh, pension plan. Usually it's a it's an irrevocable trust funded by the employer for the benefit of the employee. It's called a rabbi trust or a secular trust and um, and we'll help you with that too yeah, and I just want to say coming up in the next week or two here we have Dennis Kitchen as a guest so just Is want to next, say he's our next he's yeah, our next week yeah. stay tuned and, and that's great so you can talk about with Dennis free legal advice tune us tune us uh, whatever 
Join us next Saturday. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady from EG Tax. Join us with Dennis Kitchen next Saturday with Tiffany Fabian, Christopher Fabian. Have a blessed Mother's Day. Nice to talk to you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.